This is 30 days of the Shang-Chi superhero workout. Ever since we were kids, we've wanted to be superheroes. Unfortunately, we don't have the body of one. So when Simi Liu, aka Shang-Chi, shared his superhero workout online, we realized this was our chance. But could we actually transform our bodies in 30 days? There was only one way to find out. We're here at Christini Athletics, and today is day one of the Shang-Chi workout. All right, first exercise is the air fight. Yeah, this one, like, it's, it's for kids. This oh. is kind of easy. It was not. Ready for 30 seconds, 30 seconds. It's not easy. It's not for kids, man. It's hard. The Shang-Chi workout was pretty straightforward. Start with five minutes on the air bike, then five sets of explosive deadlifts, five sets of box jumps, five rounds of this sled running thing. You guys ready to puke? Huh? You ready to puke? Three sets of medicine ball throws, three sets of dumbbell lateral raises, and finally three sets of lat pull down. Super City. Ross, my mom, bro. My arm is so tired. Yo, I'm actually dead. Uh, I got a really bad cut, guys. See that? Deadlifting. Alright, I'm gonna let you know right now, the scratch actually hurt. But actually, that was nothing quite to the real challenge of trying to become a superhero like Shang-Chi. <laughs> you see, getting a superhero body like Shang-Chi wasn't just about going to the gym. We also had to have a good diet, and that was impossible to do at home. But you know, we kept at it, kept adding oil, and kept going to the gym. Master of the Ten Rings. Legend of the Ten Rings. And we were actually making some progress with the workouts. Yo, I know I'm gonna do part time, man. Yo, it's hard. One more. How do you feel? So we're making progress. Before I couldn't do one time, now I can do four times. But we didn't realize that we were doing one thing wrong. So I don't know why, but for some reason, none of us factored in rest days in this challenge. So we're hella sore right now. Um, spaghetti. Yeah. And since we've been going for like 11 days straight at this point, it's time for at least two days of rest. <laughs> So after working out for 11 days straight, our body finally got two days of much needed rest. All right, I finally get to binge watch The Walking Dead. Yes! Finally get to have some bubble tea. Oh, f mm -hmm. Nothing better. And after that, we were good. Oh, Just kidding. Yo, I can't go to the gym today. Ugh. See, while that two-day rest was good, it completely killed the momentum that we had built up from the beginning. But not only that, but to be honest, by day 14, we hadn't seen much progress. Or at least I haven't. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I see that much of a difference so far. Am I making any progress? No, loser. We just couldn't find the motivation. The results weren't showing, and after relaxing for two days, going to the gym again just seemed so daunting. We ended up missing four days that week. We needed something to get our asses back in the gym. And that literally came from the man, Shang-Chi himself. Sheldon. Huh? Get your ass back in the gym. But no, seriously. Seeing his success inspired us. We met at a school event two years ago, and seeing just how hard he's worked and how far he's come made us realize that we gotta keep going. Alright, we're back at the gym today. Let's go, guys. At this point, our plan was simple. We just ignore that 30-day marker and just say, show up. As long as we show up to the gym, stay disciplined, the results will come. And so we showed up. Huh? Rest day today, but we decided to come in anyway to stay devoted to our goal. I mean, we're just doing recovery stretches today. It's good that we come in, otherwise Mike's probably just gonna spend all day jerking off at home anyway, so. Bro, you acting like jerking off is not a workout, bro. That shit's hard. Going into the gym basically every day for a whole month made us realize that becoming a superhero is not just about the body, but we also need the superhero mindset to stay disciplined. We realized that chasing your goals required you to sacrifice certain things. Even 
the things you love the most. No. There is so much discipline, focus, and hard work that comes with trying to be a superhero. And to be honest, not only did our bodies evolve during this challenge, but so did our minds. We were just one step away. No joke, bro. Being Shang-Chi is definitely harder than jerking off. We were sticking to our routine, taking enough rests, and making sure we were laser focused. Only a couple of days were left until we could see the results, and then this happened. Do it. Fucked up. Oh, so frustrated, man. Fuck, I said I can't play basketball today on a whim. Because then now I just rolled my ankle. I'm just worried about, like, what I'm gonna do for the next few days. Let's go, let's go. No days off, guys. I'm gonna get this transformation done. This was it. The last two days before the reveal, we had to go our hardest. We were just one step away. One final thing we needed to do before we could accomplish our goal of becoming Shang-Chi. And that was a sponsor integration. That's right, and not just any sponsor integration. Circle DNA. What? what? You know what that means? That means we got a free DNA test! Yeah! Yeah! My leg, my leg, my leg, my leg. Now I know you guys don't want to know what kind of exotic mix that it is, but I gotta do this integration, so stay with me and I'll tell you at the end. Circle DNA is the world's most comprehensive DNA test. Those are their words, but we honestly agree. When the results came in, we spent hours on their app going through everything. There were over 500 reports in over 20 different categories, all based on our DNA. <laughs> Yo, Sheldon, say what you just said again. No, I told you, I'm gifted at music, it says it. I feel deep in my soul, just I haven't trained yet. <laughs> oh, he hasn't trained, okay. okay. Yo, seriously guys, check this out. <laughs> Yo, but I actually might believe you because the corner circle DNA, they have 99.9% .9 analytical accuracy. Hmm, let me try again. <laughs> But the best part of it all is not only do they tell you your genetic strengths and weaknesses, they also come with recommendations so you can achieve your health goals. For example, it tells me my optimal training is go for high volume, low weight to become Shang-Chi. I'm telling you, you don't become Shang-Chi by accident. You gotta know what you're doing. Anyway, we learned some really cool stuff about ourselves in this DNA test, and if you want to as well, we put the link in the description box below. You only have to do one test in a lifetime. If you do it, you'll be supporting our channel as well. Yo. We gotta tell them about the discount. Oh, the discount, yeah. 33% off any DNA kit on the website. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Let's go check out our Shang-Chi results. By the way, the ancestry results? We're, we're all Chinese. Chinese. The biggest thing we've taken from this challenge is when you set a goal, you stick to it. No matter what. That's what it takes to become a superhero. You add oil, no matter what. This is 30 days of the Shang-Chi superhero workout. Oh. Uh, uh. Is it impressive? It like roll, roll the montage, roll the montage. Okay. You all good? Yeah, yeah, I can do it. All right, look, I know this montage might be a little corny, kind of douchey, but hey, we worked 30 days for this, all right? Just give us our moment. Yeah, that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that's it. We don't look exactly like Shang Chi, except for Edward, maybe. But let us know in the comments if you think we look like superheroes. Be honest. You can take it. Kind of. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Remember to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, 再见.